Welcome back students to the third chapter of 10th standard geography, physiography and drainage part 1. So before moving ahead, let's understand what we mean by physiography and drainage. Physiography means physical geography or physical features of the earth's surface. So we will be studying the physiography of India and Brazil. Now we move on to drainage. Drainage means flow of water through well-defined channels. So here we will learn about the river system of India and Brazil. So let's move on. In our previous classes, we have already studied the different landforms. Now what are landforms? Landforms are the natural shapes or features of the earth's surface. Collectively, these include mountains, rivers, lakes, islands, hills, plains, etc. Now, why do we have to study physical features of a region or physiography of a region? The only reason we have to study the physical feature of a region is because they affect the life of the people living there. The natural wonder. We have snow-caped mountains, sandy deserts, fertile river plains, beautiful coasts and islands all in one country. Divided into five major physiographic divisions. The North Mountains are also known as the Himalayas. They form an arc stretching to about 2,500 kilometers from Jammu and Kashmir in the north to Arunachal Pradesh in the east. The northern Indian plains of India are the largest and the most fertile plains in the world. Now what is a plain? A plain is a large area of flat land. Now if you see here two, these are the plains. These plains lie to the south of the Himalayas, stretching from Rajasthan and Punjab in the west to Assam in the east. The Indian Plateau or the Peninsular region is an important geographic feature of India. It lies to the south of the northern plains and covers the largest area in India. It is triangular in shape and volcanic in erosion. The surface of the land is rocky and uneven. The coastal lowlands or coastal plains of India are narrow strips. If you see, they are narrow strips of land running on either side of the Indian plateau. They lie between the Ghats and the sea. They form a V shape around the plateau region of India. Now, the plain along the eastern coast is called the Eastern Plain. It lies between the Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. The Western Plains lie between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. The island groups, okay, India has two main groups of islands, the Andaman and Nicobar Island in the Bay of Bengal and the Lakshwadeep Island in the Arabian Sea. We now move on to page number 14 of our textbook, figure 3.1. We will observe the map and answer the questions given there. This is the physical map of India. We move on to the first question. In which direction does the region with an altitude of more than 6,000 meters lie in India? So if you see the mountains, which are more than 6,000 meters in height, are shown in dark brown and green color. Here we see dark brown color. Even to here we see dark brown color and we see gray color here. So the answer to this question is 
the region with an altitude of more than 6000 meters lie in north and the northeast directions in india we move on to the second question in which direction is the slope of the region in the north shown in dark green now they are asking us the direction of the slope of the region in dark green so what do we see here we see here some rivers like ganga gomati gandak ghagra they are flowing in the east direction so if the rivers are flowing in the east direction that means the slope is also in the east direction so the answer to this question is the slope of the region in the north shown in dark green is in the east direction we move on to our next question look for the south flowing river in an, in the peninsular region in which river basin does it lie now on page 21 of our textbook figure 3.5 we have the drainage system of india okay so if you see here if you see here we have river pranahita here and the, the this arrow shows the direction so it's pointing out in the south direction so the river which flows in the south direction is river pranahita and it is it lies in the godavari basin so the answer to this question is Pranhita is the south flowing river in the peninsular region. It lies in the Godavari river basin. We now move on to the next question. Make a list of plateaus located in between Aravali ranges and Chota Nagpur plateau. Okay. So the, these are the Aravali ranges and this is Chota Nagpur plateau. If you see, the plain areas here are in dark green and green in color. So these are the plain areas. They've asked us for plateau. Now, what is a plateau? A plateau is nothing but a high land which is higher than the land around it and has a flat table-like top. Okay, so now if you see here, the area which is higher than the plains lie is between 200 to 600 meters so it's colored in yellow so this is the plateau region and these are we have to identify the plateaus between the Aravali ranges and the Chota Nagpur so the list of plateaus located in between the Aravali ranges and the Chota Nagpur plateau is the Mewad plateau this is the Mewad plateau then we have the Malwa Plateau and the Bundelkhand Plateau. This is the Malwa Plateau, the Bundelkhand Plateau and this is the Bhagelkhand Plateau. The next question, name the peak shown in the Eastern Ghats. Now peaks are usually shown in triangular shape. Now this is the Eastern Ghat. So we have to identify peaks here. So this is the Mahendragiri Peak. And this is a little above it, we see the Malaygiri peak. So the answer to this question is, the peaks shown in the Eastern Ghats are as follows. Mahendragiri, which is 1,690 meters in height. And Malaygiri peak, which is 1,157 meters in height. The next question, which mountains demarcate the deep plains of Brahmaputra? The, these are the mountains, the eastern Himalayan mountains and this is the Brahmaputra, plains of Brahmaputra and this is the river Brahmaputra which flows from Tibet. This is the origin of Brahmaputra and it flows like this. Okay, so they are asking us which mountains cut the Brahmaputra plains. So the answer to this question is the eastern Himalayas. The eastern Himalayan mountains demarcate the deep plains of Brahmaputra. To our next question, give the relative location of the Nilgiri Hills. Okay, now this is the Nilgiri Hills. If you see here, these are the Nilgiri Hills. Okay, and the Nilgiri Hills lie in the south and they lie 
okay between the western ghats and the eastern ghats okay so the answer to this question is the location of the nilgiri hills is at the junction that is at the union of the western ghats and the eastern ghats the next question in which direction does the height of the sayadri hills increase so these are the sayadri hill uh, sayadri hills if you see to the south this area this hilly area is a bit darker in color dark brown in color so the answer to this question is the height of the sayadri hills increase in the southern direction because it is more darker in the southern area next question the vindhyas act as a water divide, divide between which two river basins now this is the vindhya range if you see here this is the vindhya range and on the uh, to the top or to the no in the northern direction if you see we have the ganga river this is the ganga river basin and to the south of the vindhya range we have the narmada river so we can say that the vindhya range acts as a water divide between the ganga river basin in the north and the narmada river basin in the south move on to figure 3.2 on page number 15 of our textbook which shows the physical map of brazil the first question what is the range of the altitude of amazon river basin now they have asked us the range between what or what, uh, between which height does the amazon river basin lie so the amazon river basin if you see here it is dark green in color so we go to the key here okay and here we have the dark green color so the range of the altitude of an amazon river basin is between 0 to 200 so the answer to this question is the range of altitude of amazon river basin is between 0 meters and 200 meters the next question between which two highlands is the amazon river basin located the amazon river basin is located between the guiana highlands and the brazilian highlands so on the top or in the north we have the guiana highlands and to the south we have the brazilian highlands our next question observe the region with the altitude of 500 to 1000 meters describe the location and extent of this region shown in yellow with reference to the direction now here they was to observe the altitude between 500 to 1000 meters describe the locational extent of this region shown in yellow now this is the region which is shown in yellow and the height of this region is between 500 to 1000 meters so this is if you see this yellow region it is more towards the eastern side the north eastern side and the south eastern side so the answer to this question is the region with the altitude of 500 to 1000 meters shown in yellow extends from north east to south east direction Our next question what do the isolated regions shown in yellow indicate now if you see these these are the isolated regions shown in yellow i've already told you the region okay the if you see this key the boxes in green and parent green okay they are uh, almost plains okay and i explained you what are plateaus plateaus are nothing but high lands okay so this is the plateau region and they are called uh, brazilian highlands or you could say brazilian plateau or brazilian sheet the isolated regions in yellow indicate brazilian highlands i also told it could you could tell it or say brazilian plateaus or brazilian sheet the next question besides the amazon river basin 
where else do you find regions with an altitude of less than 200 meters so they've asked besides the amazon river basin okay where else do you find regions with an altitude with an height of less than 200 meters so height with a height uh, with less than 200 meters is shown in dark green okay so they're asking us for plains so if you see here we have the marja island then we have the sao marcos bay we also have the pampas and the Paragu uh, paraguay river basin besides the amazon river basin we find regions with an altitude of less than 200 meters at paraguay river basin southern region of pampas Marajo Islands and Sao Marcos Bay. Sao Marcos Bay. Next question. And I guess this is the last question. Describe the plateau region with height of 200 to 500 meters through which tributaries of Amazon, River, Amazon flow in your own words. Now we have to describe the plateau with height of uh, 200 to 500 meters so that you're in the key a key if you see index if you see um, the height between 200 to 500 meters they've shown in palette green or light green in color so this is the light green color and they've asked us to describe this area if you describe this area we have the zing we have the zingu river here and we have other tributaries of amazon river so if you have so if you see there are many rivers flowing through this region so if there are many rivers flowing through this region naturally because of the silt deposited the region would be fertile okay and since the region is fertile it would be more suitable for agriculture so this is the guyana or the guyana highlands so this is the answer okay it is the guyana highlands the Zingu River and other tributaries of Amazon River flow from this region. Crops grow because the land is fertile. So we have come to an end of the question and answer series. In our next session, we will see the geographical explanation of India's physiography in detail. Till then, stay home and stay safe.